How's it going guys? Welcome back. It's the one and only Keith. How are you? Sorry I haven't uploaded over the weekend. Been a bit busy here at home. Um, haven't really done too much in the modern sense. I was trying to set up my 3D blender but what a, the mistake I was doing was I found a lot of free STL files but for some reason when I downloaded them onto the stick they just weren't printing like they weren't working if you get me and I could get them up onto the computer PC and slice them and then put it in and it, like a, the build play lowered itself down into the resin and everything but nothing seemed to be happening after that. I could still smell it, the resin. It is very strong, even though it has a rubber seal around it. Maybe it's not set right to seal. So I did go over it again to make sure it was seated right to seal, just to make sure to keep the fumes in, because it's a built-in suction um, exhaust in this 3D printer. But anyway. I'm in the dark, I have got the light on from the phone, maybe it was better with the quantum pulled because of the light, because now the sun is just giving us a glare, so I'll just do it like this, anyway, first of all, I want to say, John Paul, thank you very much buddy, and yeah, that's probably why I was getting them, um, the other cards weren't getting to you. Because I, I was putting obviously a completely different address on them, like I was saying. In the last time I contacted you, I was definitely putting the wrong addresses. Just as well you put the right address to me the way you get your post. Because when you post over here in the post office, they ask you if it says ST for street for short, they ask me, does that mean street? So. That's why when I ask is to send me his address to make sure you don't leave anything for short because they're a bit slow over here if you know what I mean. They ask me if it's Avenue, put Avenue instead of A V E if you know what I mean for short. Because um yeah. They just they ask me then questions and then I don't really know. I do just say yeah it is street or yeah it is avenue, you know what I mean? But they do want me to say the right word on the address before they put it into the post box. But and anyway, shout out to John Paul from Dragon Up guys. If you haven't subscribed to John Paul, please go over and give him a check. He's very good at the tutorials. He, he helps everybody out in how to build and scratch build things. That's basically a need to know how. You need to know these things like if you want to build your own type of stuff. So, um, yeah, John Paul, thanks again for your second card. I, as you know, I found the cards. So, I got your other card on yesterday morning. So, thanks very much, buddy. Much appreciated. Shout out to you. Please, guys, go over and check him out if you haven't subscribed to him already. His channel is Dragnal. It's um, John Paul. He's a good guy. He's um, from Canada. He's a Canadian. Am I saying Canadian right in Canadian? <laughs> I can't use accents for... Uh, I, can't, I can't do accents at all. Hey. You say hey after every word, don't you? Dragnaut, hey. Over in drag... That's, that's his channel anyway. Shout out to you, JP. Thanks very much, buddy. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I haven't been on YouTube in the last few days, guys, so I have to catch up with this. Um... Thanks again, John Paul, for the second card. Much appreciated. You resent me this because I had lost my cards, and then coincidentally, after a few years resending them, and they were on the way in the post, I just happened to come across all my cards that I was convinced I threw out. But I'm glad I found them because I have them all up there now on the wall. Well, on my wardrobe. And these all go together. I love the colourful ones. The colourful ones make them all stand out. It's great. Thanks, JP. Rose, uh, um, Frizzo. Thank you, buddy. 
Much appreciated. I got your new card. You know I have his old cards. So I won't show the old one because everyone knows that I have his old one. I show them out to the day. But I'm well pleased with the new one. And such a great looking diorama for your garage, man. It's cool the way you have it set up. And it's an Aston Martin. Is that a resin kit that you're building there in the middle on the lift? If it is, let us know because that is a cool looking kit. But if it's one of them resin kits, man, that are looking for mad money, I wouldn't give them 200 quid for no plastic kit in 124. A resin kit in 124 scale, no way. They can keep that kit if that's the case. <laughs> 200 euros, man. I've been stressing having to pay that for me, holy grail kids. <laughs> but try, uh, Frizzo, Frankie, awesome looking setup that card is. I love how it looks. With the tune side and then the super card in the middle and then the old skill on the, the left hand side. So it's a great looking um, shop card, I love it. So that's one of the new ones to my collection. I'll have these other two up on the wall. Um, any cards that I have twice will obviously be put into an envelope or the colourful ones. Me, me daughter loves the colourful ones too. The ones like John Paul there. Um, his won't be going into an envelope. His second one, his one will be going on my daughter's um, press cupboard thing. As she loves all the pictures on the cards, if you get me. She loves the colourful ones. But uh, yeah. Awesome. Anyone that's not subscribed to um, Frankie from Frizzo Model Cards, please go out and give him a shout out there, lads. Um, check his channel out. Great builder. Nice guy. Have your back any time if you need any help. Same with all the the guys that I've shouted out today. They're all nice guys. They're all polite people and very kind. And just awesome builders all together. So please go check them out. That's Frank's card. Frank's model cars. Um, Frizzo's model cars. So Frankie, I'm sure I shouted you out the other night in a in a thing a video but uh, I'll just say that they were again seems that I got in new ones BAM David Chin got your card buddy came came yesterday well placed love the old scale and parlor that's the 60s and parlor you have on that it looks like the Impala is this um tank the ship the old Enterprise or whatever, is that what they were called in um, Star Trek? The Enterprise. Um, this is all his own sketch. This is brilliant drawing, like to be honest, sketch drawing. This is um, a very personalised card. He put his own touch really mainly into this. Rather than putting a build into it, he put like his um, skills as in his drawing and his sketching and I love it steadily it's um has a bit of everything in it so no matter what it is you build I'm sure you'll find it in this in this card David Chen please go check him out guys he's from New York City the Big Apple he's a great guy very helpful he does a lot of kill builds. He does a lot of um he do he does actually some kill uh police police builds. He done nearly every state I think over there. Police state cars like and vans. Um yeah. Awesome build up. Thanks for the kind words on the back, David. Um yeah, I'll enjoy enjoy watching your vids too and your your builds are great. Thank you for the shop car, my friend. I hope mine got to his boy now because um, they seem to be a bit late getting to his. I know John Paul got his in Canada because he just um, let me know. So I'm hoping a few more he has got them that has been waiting on them in the US. Like I said, I haven't been on them on YouTube in a couple of days. Um, on the channel like I've been on YouTube watching channels multi channels if you get me not modeling channels 
I have two different channels if you get me for that. So um the only channel I like I watched was the one um that had nothing to do with, with my channel. It was just a channel that I used for watching all the motor stuff and uploaded videos of all these mad fucking sorry for forcing these mad psychos that update get up, get up and sit down. Sasha, get up and sit down. Dogs are off again as usual. Well, Sasha, it's always for the black one. Um, yeah, I was just watching channels that just upload stuff about cars and real cars, like in general, like Summit and all from. He's from Australia but lives in Japan. So, uh, I was just watching all the likes of that. And before bed, like, just to fall asleep, you know, they put you to sleep sometimes, the videos to be bored, boredom. Apart from some of the things that they do when they're doing interesting stuff like drifting or swapping engines uh, from a car into another car or whatever. You know, things like that, and rather than the vlog type videos that they do when they just sit there talking. But, um, yeah, shout out to David Chien, guys, if he's having the... Subscribe to David by now. Please head over and give him a sub there. He's a good guy, very polite person as well. And um, he does very nice builds. Yeah, yeah. He's he comments on every video. He's like everyone else on in the community. Very helpful and supportive. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate the card. And I hope you got mine. Should be there, which is any day now, lads. If any is, I'm still waiting. Because there is, like, these only got here now, so it's around roughly the same time. The the post has been a little bit slow lately, as it is now. But, uh, thanks, David. Shout out to you, buddy. Please go give him a follow, lads, if you haven't subscribed to him already. And the last one is old uh, Big Charlie. I have Big Charlie's card. I had it from the last time. Um. Such a supportive guy, nice nice fella. Uh, another helpful guy. If you ever need help, he'll help you out with any advice you need. Same with everybody, as I said, in the community. Um, yeah, came yesterday, Big Charlie. Thanks for resending this card to me. It's much appreciated. Um, yeah, thank you. So anybody that's not subscribed or don't know Charlie's channel, Please go off to Charlie and subscribe to him too. He um, does a bit of everything, collects die casts from 164 up to whatever scale you can get in the biggest. Um, he's actually a truck driver himself in real life, and that's just one of his trucks that he built. So, um, I, I never asked him the question actually that could be a replica I don't know it could be a replica of his own truck then again I could be wrong so Charlie will let me know if that's the case but thanks Charlie again buddy I appreciate you resending the card and I'm glad I found them in the first place but I still have them if you won't go to waste now but I have extras yeah, like I said they'll go on the my daughter's uh, press she just, I have her into cars, you know what I mean? She loves cars and bikes. Her granddad, who passed away just there over the COVID in February, he um, drove bikes and cars. He loved all that type of stuff. So she um, she's into all that now, you know. She likes cars and bikes through me and her granddad who passed away. There's, he's only seen this car in one piece last week as a, a forced a Kioska skyline that I had built. Yeah, you are probably saying, why the hell did you chop up that? That was a, a nice looking car. It was an alright looking model for one of my first ever built. But um, I chopped her up. Didn't have to go as far as I did. I chopped her up for the, to make use of it. I used the front, as you can see, on a 124 scale cab. Now all that is the Hakuska front off that skyline. Even the top part of the dashboard is off the, the skyline. Because the dash is coming too. The cab is not a Nissan cab. That is actually a Toyota cab. 
believe it or not. And I'm making it has her cuesca, a hockatoro, um, truck out of it. It's starting to come together as you can see. I use Millie Putty on the inside to sort of cement it together plus glue, see? Plus super glue to melt it by the seams. But, um, yeah, it's coming together. It's starting to look like the front end of a truck. I have it, the chassis here that's going to be getting used for it. Because it was off the Toyota Hilux, slammed Hilux. So this is going to, the reason i done this is because you, if you remember I cut up this Hilux to put an engine in it and it wouldn't work. But I snipped a lot of the inside out to make an engine fit in it. I'm gonna put in a Datsun engine in it. The spare Datsun engine that came with the 350 or the 240Z. That is the engine that's gonna be going into it. Being a Datsun. You would you can't really tell to be honest with you. You wouldn't really be able to tell. There's the cat or oh, the bike. I have it sanded and cemented as you can see. It's one that cambers. So it's going to be a low truck. I am going to use wide body fenders on it. So this I have the over fenders. I am going to use over fenders and all on it. I'm going to turn it into the proper like truck. I'm going to do my best to make it look like the truck. But again, if any is now the GT1 Porsche that I put up there a few weeks ago. The uh, blue livery on it, the Potamia kit. If any of are interested in doing a swap for that kit, now I bought that kit on eBay for 50 euro. I won it in um, 50 odd euros. I won it in uh, probably even close to 60 with the shipping. I won it in the bids and I got the Porsche. Um, Tamiya Porsche GT1. Uh, if any is want to get a, ha a Hasegawa Nissan Sunny truck, I'll send just that to me, a GT1 kit for a swap. It's up to yourself. Um, it's well worth the swap. As a, it's a, to me, I think it's a discontinued kit as well. In 124 scale, it's brand new, there's nothing wrong with it. It's there, I showed you, I've done a, an unboxing, didn't have the comments off on it a few weeks ago. I don't think I've done an un I might have done an unboxing, I don't really remember. But you will remember the GT1 Porsche I got on eBay and you knocked off my comments, but I turned on my comments when I changed all the settings. So if any of you are interested in getting me the Hasegawa um, truck, 124 scale sunny truck I'll do the deal which is a straight swap if you want um, it's a Tamiya kit as you know it's a very good kit as well there's nothing wrong with it the decals are perfectly fine sealed up um, everything is there in its sprills so yeah if you want to let me know it's there and anyway it's a very good kit I know it came out as an RC version as well. They brought an RC version out of it. This is the suspension and the the wheels I'm gonna be using on the truck that I'm building now. The I haven't touched me that's in truck yet, simply because I'm modifying this one into the truck that I want. But I'm still I'm still looking to do the swap. So if any of are interested in that GT1 to me a Porsche, let me know. I'll do a deal, which is no problem. All I need is a 124 scale sunny truck. Or if you get a Datsun 124, I'll take that even. Um they're not a cheap kit the Porsche either, like they, they are the dirty kit and being that that um, I'm sure the air is continued. 
it's there in any way if any of want to do it. The reason being, I actually got another one. And I was lucky to get the other one because it was actually a friend that had the other one for me. He rang me and he says, I have, um, I used to build models and I have a couple there if you are interested in them. I says, what ones have you got? And I had them all. I had everything he had. But there was not that, that stuck out that was worth that. But the Porsche. So I, I bought the Porsche off. So yeah. So the Porsche is there if any of are interested in it. I'll seal it up, bowler wrap it and then um, get it in the post out to you if you want to do a trade for a Nissan Sunny truck 124 scale. Yeah. That's really it. Yeah, I just want to get uh, the Hasegawa one or it is. It, I think it's a. I don't think it has an engine in it in any way being Hasegawa. I, I think it's a. a thing. What's call them? Corpsoid kit. But I just want to be in that it's the, in this Sam 124 scale old truck. So we'll take that or the that's and if any of are interested. So just let me know. I'll always be interested there in one of them trucks. So, or if you want a bad enough and you have something that I might want, let me know. It's no harm in asking, do you know what I mean? Um, they're like, oh, the worst that can happen is, oh, no, it's okay, do you know what I mean? It's probably a few years even saying to yourself, I oh, no. It's alright, I don't want the Porsche or whatever, but I'm just saying, if you still want to, the Porsche is there. Um, I've been hacking away at these fenders here because I'm going to be putting the over fenders on it. So, this truck, the chassis that comes with it, is the same type of chassis that's on the LB Works Aoshima. Lamborghini with the camber and all another camber one that just came out yeah well this is the same chassis as that exact same see camber can move everything can bend it there you go fly out now it's like something you'd see Marty flying in the DeLorean because the wheels are folded up like this. <laughs> yeah, it's a camber suspension. On the truck. That was a, a thin truck. A high look. But now it has a front end of a Hakatoro GTR on it. From the front fenders on. But again, like I said, if any of are interested in the Porsche or want to do a trade for it, let me know. It is a good kit. And I'm willing to take the Nissan Sunny for it if you can. The Sunny truck. Well, just thought I'd get that out there to you guys just to let you know. Because um, I know a couple of you might want to get that Porsche. So that's the reason being on saying it is in the video. There you go. Raise the front headlights and all in the front grille. All it needs is its bonnet. Now the bonnet won't have the hood. The bonnet hood won't have the um the vents in it that comes on the C1 kit, the resin kit, like Sean's kit. Um, it won't have the the vents. But it's still gonna be the hack the Hakatoro front end. Yeah, it's gonna have the over fenders as I said. So it's basically been scratch built modified two kits. There was no point in me trying it with two brand new trucks or two brand new kits. Do you know what I mean? Until I knew we could do it. So that's why I want the Nissan Sunny truck flow has to go with, or whatever, as long as it's a Nissan Sunny truck. Even a Datsun truck, doesn't matter. 
as long as it's 124 and I can do the front end conversion, I'm happy. The Porsche is there, the fanny is are willing to take it, so it's no problem. Um, Mike, if you're watching this video, I actually text, I emailed you today, Mike. So then um, check your emails, buddy, when you get the chance. Here it is, here, lads. There's the Porsche there, and I'm willing to give the Porsche GT1 brand new in its box ready to go for it um uh has to go with truck nissan sunny truck or is 124 scale that's on truck for that porsche gt1 i'm sure it's a discontinued kit right now so yeah there it is there the fangies are open to it let me know or if there's something that you know that I'd be really interested in that you just want to try swap me, let me know and I'll do you a deal, do a swap it just if I'm interested. You can always just throw it out there and let me know. So, yeah, have a good day lads and I'll chat to you again soon. And shout out to all the guys that sent me the shop cards. And yeah, I hope, I hope one year's find some interest in the swap. Because um, there's all the guys' cards and the rest are going up now that I just showed you. They already have big chasms on the wall. I just hand John Paul's to my daughter now because I had that one there to show you. And um, yeah, thanks for this. And Frankie's has to go up so spot on the there uh, as I had it the other day but I took it back down because I know I done a show out for Frankie the other day on it so yeah guys let me know I just want to get if I could if I'd have done my homework because that truck here I love it I love it if it had been 124 oh man it have made me day but I want that truck kit there from Hasegawa the Nissan or the Datsun it doesn't even have to be Hasegawa as long as it's the old Nissan truck, 124 scale, Nissan slash Datsun. Yes, I'm probably getting sick of listening to me saying these words. But anyway, that's what I'm looking for if you want to do it for that Porsche. Right, let's, thanks for watching. Shout out to all you guys. Stay safe. And yeah, I'll let you know and I'll keep you updated on this build. As it's mainly a scratch build, isn't it? It's using two different kits completely to make one good looking truck hopefully show out lads bye bye Heat out have a good one stay safe bye bye